Hi guys, this is Matt from Tech Know How Technologies. Today we're going to be covering an MMC console. And yes, I did already make a video on this on a Windows desktop. It was for like a home edition or desktop edition. Today we're going to be looking at more features within it inside of a server edition. This server has Active Directory domain services installed on it. Um, I have not installed like certificate services or uh, DHCP or any other type of services in it. Otherwise, we'd be able to add those features as well. I also don't have Exchange Server installed on this. Otherwise, we'd be able to manage that from inside of it as well. So we're just going to kind of give it a second here to finish booting up. And then we're going to move forward and uh, create this. I do have one created here, but we're going to delete this and start fresh. All right, so we're going to hit Window R, type in MMC, and hit OK. This is that stands for Microsoft Management Console. Um, and if you want to get kind of more basics, uh, my previous video on MMC um, kind of covered what to use it for at home. This is going to be more for enterprise environment. So we're going to go to File, Add, Remove, Snapping. And here we can already see that we have Active Directory domains sites and services and users and computers so we'll go ahead and add those and then ADSI edit I like to add that in as well I like to create as much think of this as a Swiss Army knife uh, or a toolbox with all your tools inside of it all in one place um, certificates we'll go ahead and add that I don't have certificate services set up so we're just going to use it on my account do disk management, local computer, of course, and I don't think we really, well, let's add the firewall in here just for fun. And that's going to ask local computer, yes. Okay, we're going to click OK, and then look, it's all right here in one stop shop. So you can go into the sites and services sites there's your default first site server there's our there's our domain controller or the server that run if you remember in the last video that I made it was uh, installing and configuring active directory domain services and how to create a user and group and it's very top level but it was it was pretty informational well here we are here's the domain here's all the OUs here's the OU that we created with John Doe in it um, here's the regular users container that's there by default and here's the group that we created and there he is as a member of it so it's all right here now if you had exchange 2010 in your environment or earlier um, and you have the exchange management console that you use you would actually be able to add that in here as well when you go to file add remove snap in it would list it in there and then you could manage your mailboxes, contacts, distribution lists, disconnected mailboxes, and everything else, even your um, personal folders and different stuff right from within this one console and then come right up to Active Directory and manage what you have to do right there as well. So it's all right in one spot and then your ADSI edit of course we will do connect to and we'll click OK. Leave it by default. We'll connect to AD. We'll come in here and then on here and then there's that user now we can access all the attributes and modify very powerful tool please be careful with the ADSI edit you can do damage with it um, and then certificates if you work in an inter enterprise environment and you have Active Directory services and DHCP and DNS and, and web servers and web applications and everything else you're gonna have more than likely a certificate infrastructure setup or PK, PKI infrastructure setup where you uh, other IT departments and other people can go request certificates for their applications and devices and then someone's gonna have to approve those if it's not automated and you'll have to manage those well you could actually add the certificate services here the, I know this is just local but if it you it would pop up in the add remove snap in where you could actually manage your uh, certificates right from within here and that's of course right in all all in one toolbox just like if you wanted to go to the Windows firewall 
it's all right here. You connection setting rules, your disk management. So this creates a toolbox so you don't have to jump around. Otherwise, you have to come here and go to tools. Oh, uh, we want to open this. All right. Well, let's wait for that to open. Okay. So now that's open. Well, I have nothing else here. All right. Well, I got to minimize the window from here and then go to domains and trusts. All right. So now we got that open too. Well, this. It's all right here in one spot, and it's very useful. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up by doing File, Save As, because I don't want to have to configure this every time. I want an icon I can click on and open it all up, all at once. So we're going to put this right on our desktop, and we're going to name this like Admin Tools All. Save that. Close, close the server manager, and here we go. And it opens it right up. And all your tools are right here and readily available. So please like the video. Please comment if you want to see anything else or what you guys all want to see. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe. Also, upcoming videos. I'm going to be doing more Linux. I'm going to be doing more Windows based. I'm going to do uh, some more videos on maybe some Bluetooth speakers, maybe some homemade ones, maybe some home theaters. And then I also want to eventually touch base. I found a game that has awesome physics and it's really neat to play with. It's a very good learning exp uh, uh, experiment for you if you have a kid. Um, especially if you like astronomy or astrophysics and that's one thing I get into a lot is astronomy maybe eventually I'll start doing some astron astronomy videos but it's called Universe Sandbox you can uh, download you do have to pay for it but you can download and install it right from the internet or through Steam on uh, Windows based or Linux based systems and I can't wait to show it to you guys alright well thanks for watching and have a good one